and we are back. Um, I'm sorry if you hear a crackling in the background. That is just a dog chewing on a water bottle or pop bottle, actually. For some reason she loves bottles, so that is her favorite toy. We bought her toys, but she would rather have the bottle. So, aromatherapy. <laughs> the essence of smell is the most underestimated sense that we have as it can actually be one of our most powerful healing allies. Aromas can trigger pleasant memories from the smell of cookies baking in the oven to the scent of a loved one's perfume to the fragrance of just a flower, right? As well as unpleasant smells as well. Aromatherapy is the art of using the power of scent to heal the body, mind, and the spirit. So, with that said, aromatherapy and the use of scent healing, rituals, magic, and spirituality is not a new thing. Humans have always enjoyed the scent of flowers and have long observed the different effects plant odors have on the human mind and the body. In the ancient world, the use of aromatic um, properties of herbs and healing magic and rituals was well known. The ancient understood the connection between the mind and the body in healing, happiness, in health, I'm sorry, not healing, health and happiness and well-being, right? In the ancient Egyptian, the ancient Egyptian, not the, we can talk today. The ancient Egyptians honored their gods by using a variety of incense and oils, the preparation of which were very ritualized and held deep spiritual meaning. Native American people um, used herbs for spiritual purposes as well as for healing and health. Many cultures still use fragrant herbs um, in healing rituals and to honor the dead, the spirits of nature, and the divine, right? So today, the practice of aromatherapy is once again widespread, and the use of scented candles, bath salts, and potpourri have become particularly popular. Health food stores carry lines of essential oils and oil blends. Even department stores carry synthetic oils and scented candles. Aromatherapy is accessible to everyone, and it has, yep, I moved your tail, Missy. <laughs> and it is an effective and simple way to make positive changes to your health and mind, body, and spirit. So, the simplest way to work with uh, aromatherapy is by using individual essential oils. The oils are unique and many of them have multiple uses to them. By learning the different uses of each essential oil, you can focus your work on the oils that have the most beneficial effect on your health. While working with individual essential oils, you will discover that some are too strong for you and others may even produce a negative reaction to you, right? So there are hundreds of essential oils on the market. Not all of them have pleasant scents to them and not all of them are effective on the skin. The following list that I'm going to provide here have several common essential oils and the benefits that they offer, right? So, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get over a cold, so my voice is a little scratchy. There is allspice, <clears throat> which reduces stress, it calms, relaxes, tight muscles, um, uplifts the mood, improves digestion, and naturally disinfects. There's basil. It calms, relieves pain, relieves fatigue, improves mental clarity, and purifies the body. There's cardamom, which relieves pain, uplifts mood, improves digestion, improves mental clarity, and memory. There's catnip. That's anti-diarrheal, anti -diarrheal, relieves indigestion, relieves anxiety, and it uplifts the mood. Um, chamomile. We've been talking about chamomile an awful lot here, right? It reduces anxiety, promotes restless, uh, yeah, restful sleep, not restless, restful sleep and relaxation, and it also relieves pain. So, there's cinnamon. 
It relieves pain, it uplifts moods, it relieves fatigue, it naturally disinfects, and it improves digestion, and it increases the appetite. There's clove. It relieves pain, it uplifts the mood, it improves mental clarity, it improves digestion, and naturally disinfects as well. There is coriander. I'm not sure if I'm even singing that right, but because this is one I've not heard of. It relieves pain, it relieves fatigue, improves digestion, and improves mental clarity and memory. Eucalyptus. I can never say that word. <laughs> it breaks up congestion, relieves pain, naturally disinfects, and vapors help with breathing. And that is so true. Frankincense. Um, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, um, it improves digestion, um, and it is a sedative as well. Gern, gern, geranium, if I can, yeah. It relieves stress and tension, it uplifts moods, anti-inflammatory, and soothes itchy skin. Ginger, it relieves pain as well it uplifts the mood it relieves fatigue it improves digestion and it increases the appetite um there's jennifer berries these relieve pain they energize um they improve mental clarity and memory anti-inflammatory repel insects as well and they soothe insect bites Lavender, we spoke about a little bit yesterday as well. It relieves stress and anxiety. It promotes restful sleep. It uplifts the mood. It balances mood swings. It, the vapors help with breathing. It improves digestion. It naturally disinfects as well. And it breaks up congestion. Lemon. Balances the nervous system, uplifts moods, um, relieves fatigue, improves mental clarity and memory, and naturally disinfects. Um, lemon balm. It relieves anxiety and stress and promotes restful sleep. There is lemon grass. It calms, balances the nervous system, uplifts the mood, anti-inflammatory, and the vapors help with breathing, improves digestion, and naturally disinfects and repels insects. There's lime. Relieves fatigue, uplifts mood, naturally disinfects, and improves mental clarity and memory. There are so many more that I could go into that you will find inside the membership. Because I go all into all of these in there. Um, working with essential oils can be easy. But it's still important to understand some basic safety issues. And take responsibility, reasonable and responsible precautions, right? After all, not only do you want to work towards better health and wellness, but also want to be safe as well. The most basic safety concerns when working with essential oils is about proper handling and storage. First, it's important to dilute essential oils in a carrier oil before using them um, therapeutically. You should rarely apply undiluted essential oils directly to your skin. By diluting essential oils in a carrier oil, you not only get more use from your supply of the oil, but you can also prevent skin irritation. Common carrier oils are olive, grapeseed, almond, flaxseed, and sesame seed oil. So you'll use like one eighth of a cup, 30 milliliters of carrier oil per 10 drops of essential oil, and one fourth cup or 60 milliliters per 15 to 20 drops, right? So the next thing you need to consider is storage. Essential oils need to be kept away from light and air. It is best to store oil and oil mixtures in a dark or brown bottles. This will keep away light and help prevent spoilage. Um, most essential oils can be kept for one to two years in proper storage, while citrus oils, though, should only be used after six to nine months. Before you start to work with essential oils, do a skin allergy test on yourself. Many people have sensitive skin. I am one of them. Um, and you may be one of them as well. So it's a good idea to test the oils 
on your skin to just make sure that you don't have any allergy to them, right, or any reaction. There are some that you should not use if you have sensitive skin or if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, and that is black pepper, cinnamon, clove, grapefruit, lemon, lemon balm, lemongrass, lime, mandarin, orange, peppermint, and spearmint. So, and they're saying you shouldn't avoid if you have dry or sensitive skin or when you are pregnant or breastfeeding. So, yes. That is all I'm going to go into these. You will find so much more inside the membership. I'm going to go into all of these. I'm going to start making my own essential oils as well. As of right now, um, I have a wonderful coach that makes some amazing pine stuff that's for colds and congestion and it helps with the um covid um it helped me get through it when i had the covid last year i was it this year it was this year i had covid early on, on in this year yeah so when i had that i had some um pines um essential oil that she had made or not oil but um it was a little droplet thingies but it was with the pine in it, and it really does work. She makes another one with sauerkraut, too, um, that's really good for this time of year. So if that's something that you're interested in. So I also get I will be getting into crafting your own blends, the health and wellness, and the recipes for each one of them. Because we have stress and anxiety relief, we have muscle tension and muscle pain relief, chest congestion and mucus relief. There is a strengthening the mind, fatigue, upset stomach relief. Um, so yeah with that i'm gonna jump off here i am going to get into a little tomorrow on the spiritual components of it and magic by the essential oils as well so with that said i love each and every one of you i would love to see you over inside the membership site where we help each other grow and expand in all areas of our life spiritually in the mind body and spiritually right so with that said, I love you all. Have a blessed day.